How's everyone doing? Dark Joe coming at you with the opening of the new Pokemon set, Lost Origins. I was at a pre-release event with the Build and Battle decks, and I was able to get my hands on a booster box. So, I actually opened this up about a week ago. Um, but here's the video of me opening them up. So, new set, pretty cool. Um, they've got kind of a new dynamic to the game uh, called the Lost Zone. So, um, it's kind of like an extra discard pile, except you can't recover cards from it like you can from your normal discard pile. But anyways, some cards make you put things in the Lost Zone, and then once you have a certain number of cards in the Lost Zone, different cards have effects based on that. So kind of a new cool dynamic. The ones that uh, have something to do with the Lost Zone, they have that kind of pink-green uh, braided haze on the card. So... Anywho, very cool set. Um, some very interesting cards. Again, that was the Hisuian uh, Zoroark card. Um, pretty cool abilities. Um, that Cliff Fairy is on Mount Moon. Pretty cool. Here's our first pull of the night. Spirit Bomb Trainer Gallery. Very beautiful. I'm definitely digging the trailer trainer galleries that the Pokemon Company has been doing with these last couple sets. So, just one more thing as far as if you're into the collecting just one more thing to kind of look for getting all those trainer gallery and they've just got beautiful artwork on them so very cool artwork on that card there <coughs> so I love it when you see those classic Pokemon I'm always looking for those here's our second poll the night Rotom V again you see that kind of pink and green braided haze or that twisting haze on the card so some of its attacks have to do with the Lost Zone. Hisuian Growlithe. No energy needed for his attack, and you burn your opponent, so... The Misfortune Sisters. It's cool to kind of see the connect between the Pokemon games Arceus and some of these cards, like the Misfortune Sisters. So again, kind of looking at some of the like that card, it takes effect when there's X number of things in the, or X number of cards in the Lost Zone, so. <clears throat> um, a lot of these water Pokemon have this Swim Freely ability. Um, and there's a certain Pokemon that if you can get on your bench, it allows you to attach uh, water energy to the, the Pokemon with that Swim Freely. Here we've got a Radiant Hisuian Sneasler, one of the three Radiant ones. Ooh, and a Drapion V. That was a nice heavy deck, so very cool. We got the full art on that one right there. Those Radiant cards are so beautiful. I think for this set we've got the uh, Sneasler, the Steelix, and is it um, a Gardevoir? Is that the one? <clears throat> I'm still looking to get the Radiant Venusaur on the Pokemon Go set. It's the only one I don't have. All right, there we go. Yeah, that Finian. So this Oceanic Accompaniment, that's the one that allows you to attach those water energy to your Pokemon with the Swim Freely ability. This Dust Dox with the Nadir Powder, you poison your opponent, but you put eight damage counters on it instead. So pretty cool stuff. Nice artwork on that Poliwhirl card. Ooh, another Radiant Sneeze are very nice. Never gonna be sad when we get one of those Radiant cards. Hiriyama. Big boy. Right. The Electros for our rare card. Bomb in the snow. Hyperior for our rare, very nice. Geocannon and Rocky Tackle. Ooh, here we got a Drapion V. Very nice. Now we've got two of them. We got the full art one and the I mean they're both basically full art. Do you call it the full art? It's not the alternative art, but and it was very cool. Fable for a rare with Spirit Charm. The 
again the lost zone so once you have seven cards in lost zone you can search your deck for two basic energy cards so <clears throat> again just a really cool dynamic to add to the game and you know kind of change things up a bit very cool panic mask all right looks like we're about halfway through maybe not quite got a wind up arm and the manectric assault laser yeah I think we're about at the halfway point here now Got about six good pulls or something, so hopefully we can keep that going. All right, here we got a Del Fox V again. It's got that haze on it, eerie glow and magical fire. Again, another one of those cards with the swim freely. takes effect when you've got 10 or more cards in the lots zone. event that pulled the Giratina V-Star gold card. It was pretty crazy. All those kids were losing their minds. Ooh. Hydrating a little bit. Always taking shots out there to try to get sponsored. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. And that was definitely the pull of the night there, that Leon's Charizard, the trainer gallery, very beautiful. I think I had checked on eBay what that was going for a week before the release, and it was about 70, 80 bucks for that card. And here we got a beautiful holographic Gengar. Very cool ability here with the Netherworld Gate. So a lot of the pre-release decks had Gengar in it, but not Ghastly or Haunter, so a lot of the kids were wondering how you get him onto your bench, but if you discard him then you're able to play him from the discard. That's what that ability does. So again, very cool. A garbage attack. So this actually does more per card in the lost zone. So again, a lot of these cards, you know, benefit off how many you've got in the lost zone. So all right. Ooh, and here we got the ena Enamorous V. Very nice. Guardian of Love. Always interesting to see these Pokemon that aren't in the actual Poke books. Although I'd probably have to have one of my kids check they know what's in the books and what's not, so Hisui and Growlithe. Alright, another Barbaracle and Mag Cargo. So we're a little late to the Poke game. I used to collect as a kid, but not very much. And uh, we just started collecting last October, right when Celebrations was coming out. So our kids were interested because a lot of their friends were doing Pokemon at school and whatnot. So another one of those cards with the Swim Freely. But uh, yeah, so we started collecting. And I think one of the first Celebration ETBs we opened up had uh, the Celebrations Charizard. Then also a Darkness of Blaze pack had a Charizard VMAX in it. So... <laughs> We got hooked pretty quick, so brought back a lot of nostalgia, and the kids love it. So now here we are, almost a year later. So but we have lots of fun playing the game, and I'm looking to post some videos about just playing the game in general. Um, definitely, as we've played, there's a lot of things we learn along the way with like the special abilities and things like that. Who this Wormpole? So very cool card with the creepy crawly congregation. Uh, Colress's experiment, very nice rainbow rare. Kind of a tight sleeve there. There we go. Beautiful. 
via that wormpole so you get it loaded up with energy and then you can basically search your deck for any number of other wormpoles and its evolutions and get them out on your bench so again it'll be fun to see what sort of decks come out of this set there's a great website um, I'll have to look up what it's called um, <clears throat> Here we go, that PokemonCard.io. So go great place to go look and see what sort of decks are, you know, being played at tournaments, kind of see what's meta. Uh, but also just to see budget decks, you know, it's really they've got a lot of cool stuff out there. I recently um, put together a Kyogre uh, celebration deck based off something I saw there, and it was lots of fun to play with. So um, but yeah, that was <laughs> Let me double check again. It was uh, PokemonCard.io. So, great place to go to see to get some ideas for deck building. And obviously, a lot of the decks, we look at that Vile Plume, very beautiful Mega Drain, and the Allergy Storm. Very cool card. <clears throat> Alright, we got three packs left. Elder Tree Barrier and Giga Impact and the Comfy. So that ability, you draw two cards and put one of the Lost Zone and keep the other. So again, that was one of the um, pre-release cards um, along with um, a champ. Ooh, here we got a Drapion V-Star. Very cool. I'm glad we got that to go along with those Drapion Vs we got. It's always awesome when you're able to get kind of those evolutions together in a box or a booster box so all right here we go last pack let's see what we got halfway through we started <laughs> opening up so we didn't just see what was right in it box of disaster polygraph very cool Ooh, and a holographic dark rye. Not a bad one to end on. Very cool. All right, so that's it, folks. That's the box. Let's see what we kind of pulled. Got some pretty good ones. Okay. So we got the two Drapion Vs. The Drapion V Star. Got a couple Radiant Sneezlers. Got the Rainbow Rare Chorus Experiment. We got the Spirit Bomb Training Gallery. That Leon's Charizard. That was definitely the and I think you'd always happy to get a Chowizad. So, all right, folks. Well, stay tuned for more videos, and we'll see you later.